Welcome to Relax in Pain. I'm so thrilled to be with you this week, and I'm pre-recording this instead of doing it early in the morning, um, but we're always available at 5 a.m. each morning on each Wednesday morning for Relax in Pain. So Relax in Pain this week is going to be different. Besides the recording, I have something wonderful to share with you, and it's the new release of the Folk Art Pure Artist Pigment. It's got a glare on it, okay? And... We have over 100 uh, customers that we've shipped this out to so far, and they're just receiving it. And so I promised to come on and do a little how-to use the paint. And when we're doing the how-to, we're going to be painting this fun little geranium. And so it's rich pigmented colors that have a long open time, and it kind of gives you the illusion and all of the oils that we were using, but it's acrylic and it washes really easy, absolutely no smell, which is wonderful. And this, by the way, this shine that you see on this one, let me see, where's the shine? Oh, there you go. All right, when you finish, I want to tell you this now because I always forget later. When you finish this, it's going to be a chalky flat, a flat finish when it all dries in about 24 hours afterwards on average, unless you really build up really thick with a palette knife, which by the way, I'm going to show you how to use those in the future and a little bit tonight, today. Um, then you would have the spray. We have the spray available too. This is a high shine glaze. We have them all in stock. You go let it totally dry and go seal it. Now I spray like out of my garage, but if it's in the morning dew or if it's in a rainy moisture uh, time of time when you're wanting to spray it, it'll put a milky finish on here. So make sure it's not wet outside. All right, so I like to tell you these things as I go because if I wait later, I won't remember. Okay, so relax and paint is supposed to be fun for you. This is one I would like for you to paint with me. So when you get a chance later and get your paints, just try it with acrylic if you don't have pure and until you can get some pure and just find out how fun it is to do these strokes. Um, I'm going to share some mediums that with you when I have the overhead camera on so I can show you better. And when we were building this program, we're doing a certification and Michelle James is who Michelle is one of our masters who works with me and she has helped create our last program using oils. And so her and I worked together on all the projects for this cert. And this is one that Michelle came up with. And when you're using this background on here, this one on this background is phthalo green, which is really pretty. And with some Payne's gray in here, and then see how the texture of the pot is. All right, so we're kind of going to inspire you to paint that someday. But what we're gonna to do today is this fun little eight by eight canvas, all right? We're gonna go from this to this, all right? So let's get started. So one of the things you're gonna see is when I go to the overhead camera, is you are gonna see a fun, let's get the right camera, a fun new product. All right, there it is. It's a mixing mat. Okay, let me move it over here so that we're straight. There we go. It's a mixing mat, and it's so the Artist Pigment Pure, uh, the Pure Artist Pigment Mixing Mat. Okay, so it is out of silicone, and so I just take, I've even left paint on here for 12 hours. I go, oh my gosh, I forgot, thinking it's not going to come off. Well, instead of palette paper, all you have to do is use your mat, and it protects really well from your table and all and your surface and it also is um easy to clean and it doesn't stain so how nice is that and you're going to put your colors out and i'm going to show you how to blend them and we also in the certification we do a color chart and how to work it into our program which is not something that most of my one strokers have used so that's kind of cool unless you've done oils all right i also want to share with you that um, this is March 2020, and we have the pandemic for the coronavirus right now. So what's happening is you might be watching this two years from now. I don't know. But these five brushes are the brushes that were supposed to be here in May from China. And we are sure those brushes aren't coming in May now. So we're waiting. Hopefully they're opening factories and hopefully they'll get it out to us. But these are the ones I want you to see. The inch and a half doing 
good backgrounds, large strokes if you're doing a large canvas, uh, three quarter flat, which most of you who do one stroke with me know about. Here's a 10 flat, a two script liner, and a fan brush. So they're wonderful and they're long handled. So when you're out here with a long handle, it keeps you from doing a stroke like that, but you're laying on the color. And so you'll see how fun that is. So I'm gonna put those down. And I have another fun thing I want to share with you because people are pre-ordering the brushes so that they get the sets as soon as they come in. And I want you to know these are the three palette knives you're going to have in the program. Um, I'm going to use a lot of this one today, but this one you can use little tips. You can tap and make trees. And this one I've used like if I'm moving paint, like if you're putting butter or icing in a cake, and there are these rake ones I came up with for baskets, we woven baskets and texture and stuff like that. So those are the palette knives, which are also coming the same time as the brushes. So for now, for less than $5, we have the six piece knife set that's plastic and they work really good that we can use right now. So we, you could also order those when you're getting your mediums and stuff if you need them. Okay. So let's start on our backgrounds. So I'm gonna use the Payne's Gray. I'm gonna put this over here. And then I'm gonna put some, let's get a little bit of naphthol red. I'm gonna put it in my spot right there. It's a little bit thicker than the red light. So then we have red light over here. That's probably enough, believe it or not, for the whole project. Then I've got sap green. So I'm going to move this over here a little bit more and I end up using a little bit more of that. Then we're going to put titanium white in a couple places. I'm going to put it right there for the leaves and over here for the Payne's Gray. A little bit of medium yellow. Okay. And do I have it all? No, pure orange. Okay, so now the difference in the two mediums that I use, let me share this with you. We're gonna use also a blending gel, which has a long open time. And blending gel comes in eight ounces or two ounces, okay? Now the difference in floating medium, which is what I use for one stroke strokes, is we're using this instead of water. We're also using blending gel instead of water, but we're also using it to because it's got it helps the open time to stay longer, so it stays wet longer, so you can keep blending and working this in. So you can do this two ways: you can put it in a little cup, or you can put it right here on your palette, and you'll be ready to go. Okay. So here's our canvas. I'm excited to get started with you, and I went and put my palette knife up again. Sorry. There we go. All right, so before we do that, let's blend our colors. So I'm going to pull off right here, and this is wonderful. This, see how it goes really nice on top of the mat? All right, I love it. All right, so I'm going to cut in and pull some of this white over here, and I need some medium green, okay? So we're going to make medium green, and what you do is you take your palette knife on both sides, and you're going to blend, okay? And now I want you to see that this is definitely a lighter, different green. I'm going to pull it all over here than the dark green. So I'm going to go a little closer, see how that's a lighter green. Well, I'm also going to come over here and grab some yellow. Okay, and that gives it, you can actually get it up to a citrus green. A brighter green but we're just gonna take and blend that in now I can then pull it all together and put it up here if I want or I can just move it out of the way okay now what I'm gonna do actually while I've got this on here let's just put it on our piece all right, right on our canvas. You can do wood, there's all kinds of surfaces, not glass, not fabric. That's the first questions y'all ask me. All right, so I'm gonna put all this green on here. 
And I'm going to add some dark green down at this end. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side because now we're going to mix a couple of other colors. All right. Now, lots of times you'll see people putting the tube of paint and squeezing it across the canvas. I'm using the palette knife to put it on there. I'm going to make this gray, this paint's gray, looks like licorice, dark. But what we're doing is when you start adding any color to it, it gets like a blue tone that I really like that I never knew before. I'm using the teary towel. I never used it before. The teary towel to wipe these off. I also, um, I used the yellow and all, so I'm ready, I'm ready to put this on. I want you to see, though, in the tubes as I'm putting, what we did do is made a, lar a lot larger hole because the paint's thick enough to use palette knives with, okay? So I'm going to just smooth some of this off of here so it doesn't get on the back of my canvas, all right? I am going to get some Payne's Gray and add some of that in here and maybe even up here where the flower is going to go okay now we have used the palette knife on a lot of our work but on this we're going to take and just use the brush so i've got the three quarter flat brush and i'm slip slapping this all right so i'm going to come here over and i'm going to keep going up here and getting medium Okay, now I'm not going to do the edges right now. I want you to see that I'm working all this in. Okay, I am coming down, pushing hard to move it, getting medium. And then what's going to happen? is that I don't want all these marks here. So now like a feather, I'm gonna just come up here and lightly brush after I pushed it in really good into the canvas fibers. Okay. Okay. All right, now as I'm adding colors into my painting, I will take You'll see some I did in the backgrounds. I will take when I'm through with my red, hopefully I remember, <laughs> and I come over and added it to the wet background. Okay. I want you to see, I added little bits of yellow here, and the red and the red and Payne's gray as I'm working this in, okay? So now we're gonna come to the leaves. Now it already has wet green. Sometimes we let the whole background dry, but I'm going to use the background today as part of the, the leaves themselves. So I'm going to pick up some white. Can you see me over there? A little bit of white, uh, titanium white and medium yellow. And I'm going to decide the size. So I'm going to come around and add my leaf. And then this leaf's going to be underneath. So we're going to come here and add the split in the leaf right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and this is going to have a stem here. I just want you to see what's happening here. The stem's going to be here and this stem's going to be here. We're going to have a bud over here. And up there is going to be another stem of flowers for my geranium. First thing we're gonna do is a geranium leaf. This is the little stems for the geranium flowers. And same thing's gonna happen down here. Now I'm excited for you to do a quick little project that you will be surprised how fun it looks like something, how quick. So I'm gonna take that paint off of there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going again to pick up the yellow and white okay now i'm going to do this leaf because it's underneath this leaf first so i'm going to push down and i'm going to drag push down now i want to get 
a lot of um, paint on here and it will be textured kind of push lift all right so that's getting pretty smooth i want a little bit more texture than that there we go and see how i'm curving these curved one way these are curving the other way and that curve kind of gives the leaf a little bit of contour like it's going in okay all right so a little bit more over here then we keep picking up the yellow and the white push and lift all the way around you see i go each time over now i'm excited for you to try that but one thing i want want you to do as you're trying this is go to a part like right here and watch this for a few minutes after you've got the background on and then go try it and then go watch it again because lots of times you'll go oh that's what i'm not doing or you might say wow i did that that was easy <laughs> that's what we're hoping for okay so look push left see how these are curving this way okay all right so these geranium leaves are well known from their little red stripes not that all of them have it but i also want you to see i'm going to brush off that brush on my terry towel and i'm going to bring some dark from the middle out okay so let's pick up some more and you got to do this like light like a feather to get it out there right from the center and same thing as when you're putting the yellow in if you get too much dark too much green go wipe it off and with this if you get too much light go wipe it off so like i'm going to pull the stem in here and then i'm going to go out with these dark i'm going to get Payne's gray Okay, and see some little stems into the, the round leaf. Okay, now I'm going to come over here again. And what you're going to learn that's going to be fun with our classes is that we're going to show you how to blend and get these different colors. Like we just got this green. In a minute, we're going to get a berry wine. I'll show you with the green and the red how we do that. Okay. So now I'm going to come in here again with some Payne's Gray. All right. Now um, I'm going to pull a few little stems into here. Okay, so there's your leaf. Now I'm going to wash my brush and we're going to side load this clean brush right here into white. So let's show you there we are right up here i have this white palette now i would normally if i had the palette next to me i don't want to be having my project on top of the palette but with limited space i had to do it this way so you would have your palette over to the right of you and you could be doing this on gray so you could see it better okay all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come all the way around here with this little texture of white and it's a good place over here to start because the geranium is going to be right over this and if it's not perfect the geranium petals will cover it okay so i just when a lot of the projects when we finish michelle and i have come back and we just added heavy texture with a palette knife or a brush around like this because we want it really raised and textured okay so now i can come in here if i want and pull down some of that color to smooth it out see that and but then <laughs> it's a vicious back and forth thing here let me get another brush to show you all right so then i would want to bring these back into there okay see 
This is just another brush I had. See that? Okay, so let's get some more white. And now I'm gonna go all around here. Keep picking up the white, and I'm gonna even use a little bit of medium, see if I can make that white open up for me. All the way around. And then I'm gonna to come to in. You see that? I'm gonna come out here. See if I'm still underneath here. See, I want it kind of rustic, which means it's just got a little bit of a ruffle to it instead of smooth. Okay. There you go. And practice makes perfect. The more you do, the better you'll be. Okay. So we're going to come all around here. And I can pull some of that back. As long as it's wet, like you can still keep moving it. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is clean this tin flat again. And now we're going to pick out the bright red. All right. That's the red light. And I'm going to just come around here really loosely. Hold the brush back here. So you're just putting little dabs of red. And that's going to help you get that absolutely geranium look. Okay. So it's like a stripe around inside the leaf. And if you're doing one stroke, you might try to make that fluted and really perfect. Well, with this look where we're trying to get an oil look, we are just going to be really randomly uh, tapping in here. I did a little bit heavier than Miss Michelle did hers. Okay. Now I also, while I've got that red, I'm going to come down along the stem here and get a little bit of that look of red. And then I will come in and get a little bit of a brighter green look there. So now when I've got this on my brush, I like to come right in here and clean it out of my brush. So every time I get through, I come and add it to my background. This is a little, just a little trick I do. Okay, so now what I wanna do is clean this brush and I'm going to take the sack green over here to the naphthol crimson. And with the naphthol crimson, I'm going to mix it in with the green and get like a berry wine color. Okay, so you can use your palette knife, but since I'm using this brush to get that dark color, I mean, and since I'm using this brush to paint the flower, then this makes sense that I blend it with this brush. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to try to leave it like that so you can see both. Okay, now what you want to do on a geranium, it's not like a hydrangea. I, I want lots of space because they're just petals. So I want dark petals underneath because dark makes it look like you have depth when we put dark, medium, and light. Okay, so I just keep picking up. And you see light all through that? That's the most you wanna cover. And then I'm gonna come over here with this little bud that I have. Okay, let's do a little bit in here. All right, so that bud has got some dark underneath. Then we're going to grab the red light. And I wouldn't necessarily put it in the same exact spot. But on the small one, I'm going to use the corner. And add little bits. Okay, I also, while I have this red, I'm going to have these little buds that have not bloomed out down here. Okay. And let's come over here. 
You're going to see this really quick. Little teeny red. Now, I don't want each color that you add to go across the whole thing in the same places. I want you to get a different look and a different stroke. Okay. Uh, don't overdo it, remember? And then I even came out here with a few little red. This is just give you illusion that there's little buds going out here. All right. Now we have one more color. Oh, that red I was supposed to work in the here. <laughs> but I wiped it on the paper towel. Oh, I mean on the terry towel. Okay, now we're going to get some orange. So see the orange? Now I'm going to pretend that this light's hitting this from over here. And so I'm just putting orange on this side. Pure orange. Maybe a little bit here or there. And still I can see through. Then I want a little bit of orange here on the top because that's where you would see a glare there and a glare there. Okay. And I then came in with a little bit of yellow. Little bits. Again, coming with some yellow over here. And then a little bit of white. You see? Little teeny bits of white. And I might even put a little bit over here. Okay, but make it your own, okay? I want you to have fun with that. Now, I'm going to take this yellow right here. All right, I'm going to come up a little bit so you can see it better. And I not hit the screen. All right, now I'm going to pick up this medium green with the yellow so that it works in. Okay. And I brought more yellow down here. So now what you're doing is you're going to pick up the color in the back plus any new color and you're going to keep blending that in. Now I'm going to take this brush and then side load. I'm going to pick up medium. Come over here and side load some Payne's gray. And I want that dark all in here. So let's get some more Payne's gray all around here. Then you're going to work it out from the leaf and the flower. And that gives you that shading underneath. Okay. And then work it out into the green. All right, and you see how you're getting that cool look there? Oops, 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 I'm getting carried away. All right, so now what I want to do is come in between here and here. So I still want to see the stems. All right, and we're going to just work it out from there. A couple of little things I'm going to do before I'm over, before I'm done, is just remember if I want to blend something in, I bring the light green and the dark green together, uh, the paint's gray and the medium gray. Medium green. Okay, I hope you're having a good time. I want to see what you turn yours into. So I want y'all to open up those boxes and open up those bottles, take the seals off and get started. Now look, I took a little bit of light green. See how that light green makes that stem pop? And right here. All right, I'm going to a little bit more. See how that green, see it just takes, it takes a teeny bit of color to really make that pop and come out. So light green or medium green and a little bit of white. There we go. And also the stem right there. All right. So see how they stand out and what else was I going to do? Okay. All right, so then I just kept working in, guys. Oh, I've got a little bit of work to do over by the bud. 
I knew there was something else. Okay, so I'm just going to come around this leaf. Just keep doing that until you get a nice blend. Oops, I got red. All right. Now I'm going to come right in here with the yellow and some of the medium green. And I'm going to do little stems. I'm going to get my liner. And I'm going to Oops. I'm going to get little stems and I'm going to pull that for these little, let me get it closer. So we want to grab these buds and bring them up. Okay, you can even put a little bit of yellow highlight. All right, just to get that look that we want, maybe. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm dying to see all of you guys with all that paint and what you end up doing with yours, okay? So just a little bit of how to use it and how fun that is to use the palette knife and make that work for you. So I can putz around with this for a while. Yeah, I want you to do the same. And I want you to know I will be excited to see you next Wednesday on Relax and Paint. Thank you.